Have you ever gotten lost? I have. Sad thing is I knew exactly where I was, but I couldn't seem to find my way back. And it hurt. I wanted to tell someone. I wanted to say I was hurt, but I didn't want to look weak. It hurt, but I pretended that it didn't. It didn't matter anyway. What truly mattered was what people saw on the outside. Wide smile even though you're dying on the inside. Perfect makeup even when your mind is an absolute mess and happy laughs. Even though all you would rather do is cry. But I couldn't even cry anymore, I felt empty. Everything was dull. Life became bland and days just bled into each other. But it didn't matter. I got so caught up trying to look picture perfect that I never realized my life was turning into a complete and utter mess. Forgot who I was. Forgot the simple things that made me happy. I had mastered the perfect smile and perfect laugh. I used them so often that I forgot what a real smile looked like and what a real laugh sounded like. I genuinely just forgot how to be happy. I stopped paying attention to my family, my friends. I cared more about the opinions of strangers on the internet. I cared about how they saw me, how they perceived me as. I wanted to be perfect and beautiful and it consumed me. The need for validation, the need to be approved, to be called pretty, to be liked. I cared too much about what they thought of me and in the process, I lost myself completely. But it gets worse. Sure, they'll call you pretty and compliment you and once again you smile because you're happy, right? This, this is what makes you happy, isn't it? Then they come around and call you ugly and fat and every other word they can think of to make you hate yourself and you start to question everything. You fall apart so quickly and you wonder why, why are you so affected by the hate, by the insults? Why does it hurt you and why does it break you down so quickly? Alright, probably because every opinion you sought out was superficial. Because everything they had to say was about your face but never really about you as a person. Is this all that I'm good for? Superficiality? I felt alone despite being surrounded by so many people. I lost friends, made mistakes, hurt those close to me because I lost track of everything. I was so busy trying to look Instagram worthy, trying to be as witty as I could be on Twitter. I tried so hard to be recognized through social media that in the end, none of my friends and family could recognize me in person anymore. I lost it because I always seemed to want more. I thought I would be happier if I had more. I fell too far down the rabbit hole, obsessed with how I look instead of worrying about who I was slowly becoming. I wasn't even living in the real world anymore. I was tired. I lost all sense of who I was. Was I happy? No, I was miserable. Everything hurt because I let everyone's opinions get the best of me. Everyone judged me and I spent nights crying myself to sleep. I wanted to die. And people would talk about me. Every mistake I made, every rumor they heard about me online, they would whisper as I walked down the hall and make me feel like an outcast because apparently I was and I just wanted it all to stop. Then they came. They were real. They reminded me that I wasn't living inside my phone and that social media wasn't real life. Not at all. They pulled me out. And I realized the insults, the hate, the bullying, it all stopped when I stepped back into the real world. It stopped because I was stronger here than I was in the virtual realm. I didn't want to cry anymore. I didn't want to die anymore because I realized they couldn't hurt me anymore. Because out here I wasn't afraid anymore. I wasn't alone anymore. They come at you through social media, trying to tear you down and rip you apart. 
They hide behind computer screens and anonymous buttons. They hide because they're stronger in that way. <laughs> they hide because they're cowards. And I was done being a coward. My friends and family, they reminded me of who I really was. They know everything about me, good and bad, and they accepted me. Even on the days that I looked like a complete mess. I didn't have to suck up to them or use fame to make them my friends. They just were. They laughed with me, cried with me. I didn't need to be popular for them to love me. I didn't have to be anything. I just had to be me. I never felt the need to change myself to fit in with them. Because all of us were different and yet we all loved each other the same. They encouraged me, cheered me on supported me, helped me correct my mistakes, and they made me better. They were like family. <laughs> no, they are family. That's when I realized that this is what really mattered. Happiness, love, faith, acceptance, forgiveness. I was genuinely laughing and smiling, and I didn't mind if people said hate my way anymore. Because of them. They knew who I really was, and honestly, having a few people love me for me was better than thousands of people loving me only for what they saw me as. Don't get me wrong, I still got hurt sometimes, but they're always right beside me. They never let my insecurities get the best of me, but they never let me get too egoistic either. They taught me how to love myself how to accept mistakes, how to be humble. They taught me what was really important, and guess what? <laughs> I was finally happy.